pull this tank out real quick. Oh, well, I don't know how quick it's gonna be considering I'm doing it in my driveway, but. Right here. And yeah, I had to do it with like a half tank. So, yeah, that kind of sucked. <sighs> So bad. I out in a couple minutes. I mean, I did have the top part already. Let's see here. All right, and I'll show you guys why I'm having this issue. See all this this debris right here I think it's starting to float all inside my fuel tank clogging up injectors and what have you so I'm probably gonna trash this whole tank and I'll go with the fuel cell we'll see we'll see how bad it is in there that evap canister off also oh, we got a care package today if you have been following I decided to redo the fuel system on the car because I think it's contaminated um, it's got to be but anyways, I'm going to put a fuel cell on it. And I got this one off of uh, Jags. And I, it's actually a Jags branded fuel cell. Let's see what we got in here. Some styrofoam. I mean, that looks pretty nice. Let's see here. There's a sender. You got, I believe those are dash 10. Fittings. 
take this something out. Let's see what we got. See that, but there is foam in there. Oh. Yeah, and it, look, it feels like it takes up the whole space. Really get my hand out of there. Uh, that lid's pretty easily put on. Comes off, on and off, take off. All right, and then we got a fuel filter. fuel filters so I'll have another one after this after after the pump so that's it so that goes on the pump. I'm still waiting for the fuel pump which the fuel pumps on a two-week back order so we'll have fun installing this fuel uh, cell in the meantime all right so I'm back at it I'm trying to fit that fuel cell on the spare tire area i'm gonna cut this out so the edge of the cell is kind of right here and the sump will be at the very bottom of the car at that, at that point i'm not sure if i'll have to cut the bottom out but i'll have to cut out this area so the sump comes through so we're doing that right now All right, so we got it all cut out. Kind of rough cut, but that's kind of what, oh yeah, cut through my wires. Yeah. Way to go. Um, yeah, I got that. Then we're gonna see how the cell fits without cutting anymore. Looks like we got the fuel cell mounted. Well, it's not bolted in, but it's, it's where it's gonna be sitting at. Got this bl uh, plastic trim panel back on. Wait, yeah, it's almost there. And then we got, oh, sorry for all the RC stuff, but that's what we do. Got both um, lines ran. Those, so that's a, a dash tan lines ran. I'll show you where they're running to over here. Oh. They are both ran. To, to here and then it will have a filter here and then another filter run beside it going into this Y this Y right here into a dash 12 which will feed the pump I haven't got the pump yet it's on back order so we'll finish the video up uh, part two of the video will be maybe the pump install 
hooking up electronically and stuff like that. 